Your plants may be thriving in our summer weather, but some may be under attack. Yes, Adam Bachman from Bachman's is here to talk about unwanted. We got a lot of unwanted here, yeah. right? The insects, <laughs> the critters, and the garden diseases. That's right. Uh, that's sort of the trifecta right there. So most yes. notably right now, especially if you're art out working in your lawn and garden, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are bad. They're uh, awful. They're right awful. Now. So there is a great product called Mosquito Beater. It's an all-natural product. It has things like citronella, geranium oil, garlic lemongrass oil and that's something that you can just sort of shake around an area that you want to be outside like and enjoy. Kind of thing, yeah, it's a granular product. Yep, right. exactly. So those are pests for the gardener, but how about for the garden? For, so pests for the garden, uh, Japanese beetle right now is sort of the, the hot pest. If you haven't seen it in your so area, hot. you will very Red soon. Uh, it's pretty easy to identify. Uh, it has kind of this, it's kind of a cool looking bug actually, this iridescent kind of copper color to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but will totally decimate certain things in the landscape. So but will not affect the good bugs, right? Will not affect the good bugs. This, You're right about that. This product, okay? Yep. Um, and then also too for Japanese beetle, you want to make sure to take care of the grubs in the lawn, and that's, that's kind of that's what a, they eat. That's what they eat, and that will okay. also take away a food source for moles and voles in Stuff the turf if you have does that. Okay. those right. issues. Good. How about and furry then, critters? So furry critters, uh, one of Jason's favorite, I believe. I rabbits. hate rabbits. Rabbits, I do too. I've yeah. tried different products. Uh, so what do we have? So there are uh, different number of repellents out there. The best advice I can give you is to alternate the types of repellents that you use and always, always, always reapply after a rain event. Right, uh, right. If you're anything like me and my family and you're busy this time of year and you miss a reapplication one night um, and Guess you Guess who doesn't things. miss that you missed it? The yeah. rabbit. <laughs> the and rabbits, it, And yeah. it only takes one night for them to do major damage. That's right. right. One yeah. night. Uh, I'm disappointed in what they've done to my strawberries oh. this year. Did, uh, you, did you put up a fence? So did you just... we, we did put up a fence around our vegetable garden because we had enough with the rabbits and yep, deer. That's what um, we but did our year. strawberries we're not fenced in, and um, the we're, rabbits we're got thinking it. about a fence. Yep, I know uh, it's sad, but you got to do it. So yep. furry creatures, this will take care of. How about slithery creatures? So there, there's a product called Sluggo for slugs. Um, we're going to start seeing those soon. If you, again, if you haven't already, um, that's again an organic product that you can just sort of use as a perimeter around problematic areas. They'll crawl over it, kind of cuts them up, and takes care Boom. of them. Buy slugs. Yep. Cool. And then also right now there are some uh, diseases out in the garden that you can take care of again with some nice uh, organic and natural products. Uh, diseases oftentimes are unsightly, not mm -hmm. going to really kill the plant, mm -hmm. um, but there are different treatments that you can use to help so like mitigate and prevent. And yep, fungicides, exactly. Uh, yeah. Watering for gardens, does it mm -hmm. matter time of day? You know, it's best to water early in the morning or okay. uh, late at evening. Same with applying any sort of uh, insecticide. You want to do that morning or night when pollinators aren't out. Makes okay. sense. Yeah. Good luck to everybody. Yeah. All right. Likewise. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> right